To prepare for this project, first have the children paint two nine inch by nine inch squares of watercolor paper. And this is a great opportunity to play with color. Here you can see we've played with how red and yellow can play together to form orange. On the back, you'll want to draw these lines ahead of time for the children in grades, say kindergarten through second grade. So we have one inch strips and on one piece, the strips go all the way across the paper. And on the other piece, we have green lines for go and a red line for stop up here at the top. So we'll be practicing cutting straight lines and we'll also be practicing stopping right at that point. Here's a set that's already been cut out and I'm ready to weave. So the frame piece here that has the stopping point at the top, that is like my warp in the weaving. And the free cut strips here, these are my weft. So to begin, I'm going to say that the yellow is always the leader. And we'll begin weaving over, under, over, under, all the way across over, under, over, under. And when I make it across to the end, I want to slide this strip all the way up to the tippy top here. And I'm ready for my next piece. Yellow is the leader, and this time I'll go opposite. So I started with an over. This time we'll start with an under. Under, over, under, over. And there are so many vocabulary words to learn with weaving over, under, through, opposite. A great activity to do before weaving day has arrived, or perhaps while you're waiting for your watercolor paper to dry, is to go outside and set up a little obstacle course for the children with all sorts of things that they can jump over and crawl under and through. So they have an understanding of those words with their whole body. Something to watch out for too, common mistakes are when a child might go over two or under two in a row. And as you can see, if that happens, now I've lost my checkerboard pattern here. And that's okay, we'll just slide it back and try that again. So it's a great idea to have the children stop after each strip and review their work, check to see do I have over, under, opposite, and a checkerboard pattern like this? Both of my hands are involved, so I have this bilateral coordinated movement again. And my weaving is complete. To finish, I need to go around and lock down all my little windows that are open here on the edges. So you can do this with a little bit of white glue or a glue stick. And um, using white glue is a skill in itself, how to use just a tiny little bit at a time. Once you've gone all the way around one side, you can flip it over and lock all your windows on the back. And there we go, my project is complete. Happy weaving.